Thank you, Madam Chagger, for returning. Um, when we were at Finance Committee, um, you were asked a very straight up question, whether or not you had had any dealings uh, with the Kielbergers or anyone from We Charity in the lead up to this coming to Cabinet. So why didn't you tell us about your meeting on April 17th with Craig Kielberger? Madam Chair, these meetings are public. The question that I was asked is if I spoke with the organization in regards to the Canada Student Service Grant, and I answered that question truthfully and openly. A member today uh, provided me the opportunity to provide the information in regards to the organization writ large, okay. and I have provided that information for the record. Thank I you. answered actually, the question no, actually, that was posed to me. Sorry. Actually, the question you were asked was very simple. Did you have any meetings with anyone from the WE organization and lead up to cabinet. They did not ask about the Canada um, S Student Service Grant. You put that in. So it was a simple question. So my frustration here is when you're asked a simple question, did you meet with the Kielbergers? And you can't give us a straight answer. It, it makes the waters seem very, very murky for you. So, um, so my concern is, is that that meeting, I think, was crucial. And yet you didn't tell us that. Why didn't you tell us that you'd met with Craig Kielberger? Madam Chair, I think you have noted the length of the question, and I will take that time to respond. Um, the member is welcome to refer to the official record and to see that that question was in context to the Canada Student Service Grant, in which the motion was put forward, and he can choose to interrupt, and that is an approach that he chooses to routinely take. Um, I have set the record state uh, clear today as to the two times that I have personally interacted with the organization. I met, uh, while well, I went to WE Day on December 10th to speak to an auditorium full of youth at the National Arts Centre. That was December 10th, 2020. I was requested to have a conversation um, with the organization in regard to an unsolicited social entrepreneurship. Thank you. Strategy. Thank you. I, well, here's the thing. Um, you were asked a straight question, but of course, I, we've got the record. It's on the record. But the thing is, is of course you weren't speaking about the Canada Student Service Grant on April 17th because it didn't exist. It wasn't announced until April 22nd. So uh, it's, again, this splitting of hairs that I find frustrating. But let's just jump forward because you had also told us that Rachel Wernick came up with this idea. She told us that she had been instructed uh, by officials to reach out. But it's the Craig Kielberger connection to her that I want to bring to your attention. He writes her an email, his introduction to her, and he says, based on the meeting with Minister Chagger, um, quote, in that spirit, we have proposed two programs and we can deliver one or two programs. So you're Craig Kielberger's all access pass. So I don't get how... The fact that you were at some WE event at some auditorium is, is germane to anything. When it's the April 17th meeting you have with Craig Kielberger, you don't tell us this. This has to come out in the media. The fact is, is that Craig Kielberger uses you as the introduction to Rachel Wernick saying not only did they have the one program, they had two programs. They were ready to deliver. So what happened in that conversation that led to having two programs instead of just one? Madam Chair, I have been asked to testify and I do my utmost to make sure that information is readily available. Uh, no differently when I appeared at Finance Committee, I made sure that details of the contribution agreement were available and I also said that we would share all documents to ensure that members and Canadians can have these answers. I think it's important that they receive these answers. In regards to the April 17th meeting that the member is referring to, it was in regards to an unsolicited social entrepreneurship program for youth. As a Minister of Youth, there is is um, some, the, the, it's important that I be informed as well. This, this proposal is not something that was first brought to my attention. As, the, as Rachel Wernick has testified, it was gone to other minister as well. Yep. And then it was shared with myself and I made myself available to listen to that information. It's not something uh, that I would have uh, full jurisdiction or be the lead on, no, um, but I, I did I, listen I to that. it and it's not something that I was considering. Uh, well, obviously, you did consider because uh, Rachel Wernick gets her email from Craig Kielberger saying that he had not just one, but he had two proposals. And it's the second proposal that became the Canada Student Service Grant. That was the form. So 
the fact that you were meeting on April 17th, the Prime Minister announces it on April 22nd, the fact that Craig Kielberger is then contacting with Rachel Warnick that he's met with you and he has the two proposals. I think you just need to just come a little more clean with this minister and tell us what you recommended order, to Craig Kielberger sure. so that we can get a straight answer here. Point of order, sure. Minister, just a moment. Mr. Dong. Chair, uh, for the second time today, uh, Mr. Angus has brought up this document between uh, Mr. Kilberger and uh, Rachel Warnett. Um, uh, I'll, I, I'll, I'll, I, I'll submit it. I'm just wondering if— it. Do you hey, want well, me to well, submit I, it? I have the floor. Point of order is that? Excuse What's me. The, is that not a point Excuse of order? Excuse me. I, I have the floor. Mr. Dong. I, I wonder if, if Mr. Angus can share the document with the rest of the committee. Mr. Dong, that's not a point of order. I'm going to proceed. Sorry, does that come out of my time? I'm certainly willing to share I'm sh the email to Craig Kilberger. He is referring to, but I have no idea what he's referring to. That's, I think it's a fair question. Well, Mr. Dong, it's not a procedural point of order. You are more than welcome to go and talk to the member after yeah, this meeting. Uh, and he well, is, if he is happy to show you the document, then he will do so. Well, Madam I, I think it's I'm more pretty... than willing to share the email that has been made public. If my colleague Ms. didn't do his homework, Mr. I can't Angus, help that, but I'm I'd like to the get clock. the answer from the Mr. minister. Mr. Angus, the floor is yours. Can we just get the minister to tell us what happened in that meeting without the interference of the, her Liberal colleagues? That Craig Kielberger then went to Rachel Warnock and said he had two proposals, two proposals. And that second proposal became the Canada's Student Service Grant with just a few bells and whistles at it. So something happened in that meeting, Minister Chagger, and you didn't tell us at finance. Tell us now. Just come clean. Madam Chair, I was asked to swear an oath. I have sworn an oath. I think it's important to acknowledge that all information that I have available, I am making available. I do not disregard the member's interpretation, uh, but I will not be told that I am not providing information openly. That's exactly what I'm doing. The first opportunity Mr. that Chair, I had to be at finance, much. I was there. Thank the you. first opportunity I had to be at ethics, thank I am you. here to make sure all information is available thank to you. members. If and you've told us Canadian. at finance, Thank we you. wouldn't be in this schlamazel. Mr. Angus, your time is up. Thank you. Mr. Polly, the floor is yours for five minutes. Did the word volunteer ever get spoken in your 30-minute meeting 